if you ever need to play really, really fast with brushes, it might be a bebop thing or just a really, really fast spangalang. Ding, 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 ding. And you need to do it with brushes. Well, if you play that original stroke that we learned, where we're going, and you flatten it out into eighth notes. Okay, that, that works fairly well up to about that tempo and perhaps a little bit faster, but if you need to play really fast, like the stroke that I'm using there, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, is I'm going, I'm doing the exact same thing as I was uh, with the left hand. I'm just going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, but obviously playing it a lot faster. Okay, so get used to doing that. Uh, so the accent, of course, is on two and four. Soft, loud, soft, loud. And instead of playing three notes, instead of playing two and three, four and one, you leave out the accent. You're already, it's, it's kind of a cheat, really, because you, you're kind of not getting the same uh, density on two and four because you're not playing the slide and the accent. So make sure that the slide is loud enough because it's the only thing that's going to be playing on two and four, other than the hi-hats. And you just play one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, and three, and one, and three, and one. So you're only playing two strokes. You're only playing a double effectively with the right hand. And that's a lot easier to do going than playing three much more work doing three. So one, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and one, and three and one. That's a stroke that you can use at really fast uh, jazz tempos.